Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we defeated Water Blight Ganon in Divine Peace of Aruta, which is over there now. And now, we need to do some side questing around this area, since um, the only way I could make the Zora armor work was by taking Link's pants off, so probably should do something else about that. So, let's start off by looking around and seeing what we can do for the locals. Since there's quite a few quests that just opened up, apparently. la dee doo Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. Oh, you're Hylian, who helped uh, Prince Sidon. You're so handsome. Your looks still don't compare to Prince Sidon, of course. But you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind talking with you for a bit, hee <laughs> hee. Wanna talk? Um, with that song. I just love singing. I even remember the song from the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? Yes I do. Okay, I'm gonna sing it now. The Champion Festival song. A gift from the sky, a scale of light. Splits the feet at a... Uh, Splits the feet of a veiled false sight. Your trial awaits, it's glowing bright. I don't really remember what the song's about, but I'm gonna sing it at the next Champion Festival. Mr. Trello is supposed to get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's uh, wrong with him. Did he forget his? that's his job? So we have that, and that's a shrine quest. Now you, you did you have a thing? What is it? Oh, hey mister. You've got a weird face. Wow, I'm a Hylian, I'll let you know. Hi, Leon? The great Hylion? Never met one of those before. If you're a Hylion, that means you came from really far away, right? You didn't happen to see my mom uh, May on the way here, did you? Ever since the water monster went crazy, Mum hasn't come home. But I mean, I bet she'll come home sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. <laughs> so I'm catching frogs and selling them to eat, to earn money. <laughs> to eat them! Don't misread things when you're tired. To earn money for our family. Just until Mum comes home. Frogging? Yep. Since Mum hasn't come back from fishing fishing yet. I've been catching hot-footed frogs and selling them to earn some money for our family. You were just pitying me, weren't you? You felt sorry for me, didn't you? Well, I don't need your pity. If you want help, donate some hot-footed frogs. You can find them easily on rainy days. I really need you to get some for me. Five frogs should be enough. Got it? Hey, uh, mister. I'm busy. I think I have enough frogs. What? Really? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five! Wow! You really brought them. Here, take this as, fa as thanks. Amaranth? This is called Amaranth. I picked it because it's unusual because it's unusual, but it doesn't really suit me, so it's all yours. Oh, thanks. I'm great at being unusual. Yeah. Hey, mister. Ooh. Thanks for those hot-footed frogs. See ya. Okay, you're not gonna tell me about your mum, okay. Just, it's over. Okay. Do you have to talk about the shop? Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Marat Mart. This seems familiar. Somewhat. This is where you'll find our general store, the Coral Reef. Our workshop, the Hammerhead, is also here. Ah. Or do you need something else? Marat Mart? <laughs> yep. The general store and the workshop, they're the best shops ever. And they're called... Marat Mart. Marat Mart. La di... Da di di da... I... La-di-da! 
That's my theme song, isn't it cute? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, the general store. Ooh. Our general store has been in business for over 100 years. It has a long and honorable history. The shopkeep, Clef, is really serious. But his younger sister, Tona, is head of fins for Prince Sardin. Head over fins, right. I, I, I get that thing, okay. Kihi, -hi. is there anything else? Ah, the workshop. <laughs> the old man in the workshop, his name is Stento. He's my grandpa. He's the one who fixed Mifa's weapon, the light scale trident. Okay, so I'm guessing that means that if I break my light scale trident, this is where I go to fix it. If I have the right materials. Also, there's a Goron here just because there is. I don't. I can't talk to you, okay. Hey! You're a Harleen, aren't you? It's rare to see your kind around here. As for me, I was roaming nearby during my travels when Prince Sardin recruited me and brought me here. That's because I can touch shock arrows, but I also weigh, well, a lot. There's no way I'll be able to carry you on my back. That's what Prince Sardin said to me. It's kind of rude of him, wasn't it? It really was. It's really, really, really just... I'm going to have to talk to Prince Sardin later and have a little chat with him. But anyway, talk to this guy. Oh my goodness, the camera. So I heard, so I have heard, Champ Hylian Champion Link. Now Lady Mipha's spirit can finally rest in peace. As the champion, you should be able to use both the light scale trident and the ceremonial trident. If you break either one, please let me know so I can remake it for you. Okay. I don't actually know what he wants, if I need to do that at any point. Do you, uh, the fish my mum caught are being sold at the general store, so go have a look. I saw those already, but anyway. Let's keep looking around. Cooking pot there if we needed it, but we really don't at the moment. And this is where we can stay for the night. Looks like there's a Zora sleeping. Oh no, it's not a Zora, it's a, it's a person. It's a Hylian. Ah. Zzzz. I think uh, the Harleans actually a robot in disguise. They're short circuiting. Might want to do something about that. Oh my goodness! Definitely not going to be able to shoot those. Anyway, let's talk to you. Oh, it's you. We met at Zora River. It's me, Lido. Thank you for coming so quickly. You have appeased Ruta. I cannot express how grateful I am. However. Those of us in Zora's domain are still feeling the ramifications of the chaos that Ruta wrought. That's why my senior apprentice, Frank, and I are repairing the domain. However, our materials are a bit depleted. What materials? Yes, repairs require a large number of Luma stones. You can find plenty of them around Upland Zorana. Have you, by chance, already stumbled across some luminous stones during your travels? For instance, if you have 10 of them, that would be a big help. Let me see how many I have. I am going to be very amazed if I just happen to have that much. I have 6, okay, not enough. We'll keep that in mind though. And now, I'm going to have a look around some more. Because there should be some more stuff we can do. Just need to find out where. It's just all hiding. Also, I did say I wanted to climb up this again to see if I could check if there's a Korok at the top. The very, very, very top. Hopefully I have enough stamina. Not not, not, the, not the very top, just the top of this bit here. I already went to the very, very top. Oh my goodness, please. 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 Oh my goodness, Spider Link. I'm surprised you can climb like that. Just keep going up, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Fish eyeball. Let me climb on the eyeball, please. I must have this life goal. Okay, I did it. 
It's a bit upsetting, but anyway. Let's just go a little bit closer over here. Let's see if I can climb up this without falling off. And it looks like there is a cork because I can see particles. Yep. I should have got this the first time. Oh my goodness. Hey, there's also a chest up here. Let me grab that. Zora Spear. Probably don't need that though. Hey! Nope. Oh my goodness. That did not work at all. What I could do though is set a fire. Except I think that the stuff that I drop is going to just fall off. So. Let's be smart about this. And uh. Start a fire using my flame blade probably. Just like that. Easy. It just took half of my wood resources. I think three fires is all you need to start an updraft. Anyway, let me mark that off because I've got a tracker thing now. I wanted to get that finished before I started doing this, but I it took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Um, where do I want to go? There's a lot of extra areas I can go to still. And I haven't even finished in the middle area yet, so... Let's head back down. And I think if I go behind where King Dwarf Dwarfan is, there's also some something behind him, so in true Zora fashion. Am I wrong? I could just be wrong. <laughs> Looks like I'm wrong. It's not true Zora fashion though. Err, please let me up. Err. Just jump, Link. There we go. Does King Dwarfen have anything else for us to say? To, for him to say? Link, I am truly and eternally grateful f uh, to you for saving Zora's domain. Everyone is rejoicing. There is no happier place in the world. But Link, there is something I wish to ask you. You journeyed within Ruta, the divine beast of water. Now you are back, but Mipha has still yet to return. Is it as I feared? Were we too late? I met a spirit, you know, just in case you didn't want to, just in case you wanted to faint today. A spirit? So that means Mifa really is... Did, did you say any? did she say anything to you? I see. My dear Mifa. I simply cannot believe it. There was nothing I could do to save her. Still, Mifa fulfilled her heroic duty as champion. And still, and she will never be alone. It is my duty as her father to watch over her, even now. Link, she really loved you, you know. There is no mistaking that even now, she is overjoyed to be able to help you. Promise me that you will always remember her. Promise me that. I'll never forget her or we are united now. I guess I'll go with the top option. I'll never forget her. I appreciate you saying that. You're a good man. Even if if you ever run into trouble, know that you are always welcome here. No matter the time, we shall all greet you with open fins. Link, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Just a little bit of closure on the story that we just had in previous episodes. Prince Sidon is also over here. Just looking out. Link, I must thank you. You somehow overcame the objections of the old geezers on our council and all all to help save our home. Yes, you are a treasure of a Hylian. Taking time out of your journey to come to our rain and monster ridden home. And here you activated those orbs Orbs with shock errors. Freed Ruta and released my sister from her lingering regret. Link, I simply can, can't can thank you enough. Especially for following me to the end. Pushy and unreasonable as I am. Zora's domain would still be in peril if not for you. You are welcome anytime and we are ever at your service. Have I mentioned how incredible you are? And how thankful I am? Because you are and I am. Yes, you are the greatest of Hylians, and my most treasured friend for all time. 
I'm glad the people who wrote all these lines out had good humor. That just it just makes the world feel more alive. Anyway, back here we have some like pools that people can just stay in, I guess. But there's also a few sneaky river snails on the sides that we can just pick up. Not that we really need them, but they're there, so. What are you looking at? Well, well, if <laughs> it is always nice to have a visitor here. Thank you for joining to our Zora, Affair Zora's Domain. Wait a moment, you, your Link. The uh, pr 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 perpetrator who forced Lady Mifa to join his crusade a hundred years ago, only to be destroyed by Clamity Gunnan. Wow, so rude. As though I could ever fix, forget that face. You should know that the elderly here who loved Lady Mifa still remember, and they still resent you. I, however, resent the dead, not the person. I also believe in allowing the mistakes of the past to wash away. Link, I have retired from my role as a priest. I am now living my f life free from the material concerns of this world. However, ever since I retired, each day is more boring than the last. Spending day and after day in idleness, only to pass from this world soon. Link, as I'm uh, sure you are well aware, the afterlife lays calm to all. We never know what it when it will beckon. If during your uh, travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Joining two souls is a true honor. One I shall t t uh, stake my life on. Just one more wedding, and I shall be fulfilled. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but I usually don't talk to NPCs just because. It's nice to do it in Let's Play form, though. Oh, you're the guy I met at Zora River. I can't believe you really came. The name's to Tona. I am a member of Prince Sidon's fan, fan club. When I think about Prince Sidon, I can't sleep at night. I'm so tired. Uh. Yes, I've heard all about it. You. You're an amazing guy, aren't you? Yes, you are. You saved us all. Thank you. Now, Lady Mifa's spirit can finally rest in peace. <laughs> Diving is beauty. Oh, you. Hi. It's me. I'm the one Prince Sana left at the top of the tower. The name is Groove. In the end, I wasn't able to join up with Prince Sardin. Instead, I worked up some fighting spirit and jumped into Zora River from the top of the tower. Then I came back here. I was deeply moved seeing my reflection on the water's surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. What do you mean by that? It is my observation that a person's true colors shine the brightest when they dive freely into the waves. Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing the Zora armor, even a Hylian like you can climb a waterfall and get back up here in no time at all. That said, if you don't mind me asking, would you please show me your true colors and dive into the water? You can dart and dive headfirst from here into the water below. It would be a uh, true beauty made uh, for flesh. Please consider. Okay. Blind, blinding brightness, radiant beauty. <clears throat> okay, now climb the waterfall and then meet me back here. Okay. Let me just swim up with them. Since we can do that in a waterfall that's not got a back to it. But that's just normal though. Fantastic. Can you feel that? My soul is on fire. Somebody put it out, put it out. <laughs> Sorry. It's pulsating with beauty. You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much. Now then, come over here real quick. And put out his fire soul. That was amazing. I saw your dive and waterfall climb with my own lucky eyes, and now those very eyes are flooded with tears of joy. You, that, I guess I'll extinguish the fire in your heart. Or whatever it was. 
Didn't want you to burn yourself or anything. Guess that is that heartburn, I guess? I don't know. Yes, I must thank you somehow. We get five fleet lotus. Oh, I feel emotionally uh, ravaged after that. It's not every day I get to see a diving form as beautiful as yours, you know. I'll be looking forward to your next dive, I really will. Diving is beauty complete. It's not quite what I was looking for. I know there's something around here that gives me good things, but I just don't know where to find it. Hey! Hylian, to think that you were able to appease Ruta, you turned out to be a pretty incredible guy. In fact, I wonder if you can do this too. <laughs> Exterminate the Hinox by Rallis Pond. Surely. <laughs> okay, in that case, give it a try. For he sa who saved the domain, this should be a piece of fish cake. I feel like you wouldn't say that. Although, are they tech- I don't. Anatomy of Zora is separate from fish, okay? It's completely different. They have, they have, they have their intelligence, so it's different. Ah, uh, go on, I'm counting on you. Just gonna break those pots for some extra stuff. Now, I wanna find out where that is. Where is that? That's a fair way away. But it's not the furthest away. We haven't seen a Henox before. But that's all the more reason to do it, because I actually wanted to, to actually show that off. I want to have a picture of a sneaky river snail that's not in the daytime, but it, that seems fairly difficult to do. Anyway. I think that's pretty much everything around here. There's still a few more things we need to do. We haven't finished a side quest we've started yet. There's still like one or two we have yet to do. But for the most part, we're doing pretty well. How about you? Hello. Link, the Divine Beast has been appeased. But I fear there is still something that threatens the Domain. There's a red maned monster called a Lionel that lives on Polymus Mountain. I really need a picture of a Lionel. It can be a picture of any red maned Lionel, not just the one on the mountain. So what do you say? Can you get me a picture of a Lionel? You know, I know a guy <laughs> who uh, tried to take his picture with a Lionel and kind of died a few times. A lot of times. I don't know how he lived multiple times. Uh, but uh, sure, I can get you a picture. I'm pretty sure he got one in the end, but I have to find out. I'm glad that was settled so quickly. So am I. See? There's this fool in the domain who goes people into jumping off Shatterback Point on Polymus Mountain. There's also a fool who took a picture of a Lionel for you. It's an incredibly dangerous jump, and this guy pr pressures people into jumping off by questioning their courage. I also jumped off of that, but I also had a glider, so does that is that a bad thing? I don't know. He's a real bottom feeder. If this keeps up, someone is surely going to wind up horribly injured. I need a picture of Lionel to show everyone how scary they are. That way, many peop maybe people will stop going up there. Does that answer your question, Link? <laughs> I'll leave the details to you. Just make bring me a picture of a Lionel so I can describe them in terrible detail. Thank you. Do I still have that picture? It's always possible that I deleted it. And I'm just making... No, it's still there. Oh. Link. How is that Lionel mission coming along? Still haven't. I, I still haven't. That's a weird response. I still haven't. Anyway, I have your picture. Oh wow, please show me. If you can see it all but way away, its eyes staring into my soul. What? My apologies. That sound was not very dig dignified, was it? Pardon me. I'm all better now. That Lionel. How terrifying. One look at this and I doubt anyone would get any reckless ideas about visiting Polymus Mountain. Thank you. I'll tell the children of the Domain about this. Maybe that will scare them away from the mountain. 
Alright, now for your reward. And we get the Zora Greaves! So Link can put on pants. These Greaves have been passed down among the Zora for generations. It's been said they're... they were... they Crafted using dragon scales. Equip them to swim faster. These Zora Greaves were once made by skilled craftsmen by order of the ancient of an ancient Zora King. Now they're fairly common. As you may know, East Reservoir Lake was created in a collaboration between Hylians and the Zora. After East Reservoir Lake was finished, we made Zora Greaves as a token of friendship for Hylians who came to visit. But over time, the number of Hylians visiting the domain dwindled, and my father had to close his armor shop. These Zora Greaves were here, were the last pair left in the stock room when he closed up shop. Wearing these, even a Hylian can swim, as well as a Zora. That said, these would be wasted on me. Ah, uh, they are only useful for a Hylian like you. Please take good care of them. Yay, we got pants! So there we go. We can also press the sort button to sort um, our armor in different ways. So we can sort it as types of armor, like pants, uh, tunics, or helmets. We can set it in groups so we can see what stuff is supposed to go together. Or we can just sort it by... No, it's just those two. No mind, I'm just crazy. Cool. But sorting that is very useful, it depends on... You can have it basically however you want it, except you can't. You know, it kind of breaks the point of what I just said, but anyway. It seems this episode has come full circle now that we're wearing pants. Look at them! I'm wearing pants now. I wasn't wearing pants for the most of the episode, just... Well, Link, Link wasn't, but anyway. That is it for this episode of Legends of Breath of the Wild, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.